have a good day. Give this to your teacher like good boys and girls, okay? Real apples are expensive, so we buy apple-flavored fruit snacks in bulk from Costco. They're made with real fruit. Dad says one summer we'll go fruit snack picking. I love apples. They're high in potassium. Welcome, good students. What? Thank you. What good boys and girls. Oh, you. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> She's the best. I like to walk to school. Today we are going to start with the letter A. Again? Well, it wouldn't be fair to your younger brother Batron, would it? Today is his first day of school. <laughs> Isn't it? So, uh, what are some words that begin with the letter A? Yes, you. Eight. Now, do you mean the number or the past tense of eat? I'm pretty sure that past tense is um, uh, Latin for a bee's nest that is set on fire. Uh, sure, that's one. Ah, uh, that's a word. Ah, uh, good. What's good. a letter? I'm pretty sure a letter is one of the numbers. Okay, little bunnies, you know what to do when we see beer. Beer's a lot like orange drink, but with sin. Hypoplastic. People say that multiple pregnancies don't exist in nature, but I believe theirs would if they could. There's two different types of bag, paper or plastic. Bitch, how big is your pussy? I mean, I'm asking her paper or plastic, and she's talking about her big ass pussy and her kids. I mean, I should have put the groceries in her pussy. Her pussy's so big. Sex with her must have been like looking for your car at the airport. Ew! I mean, people must be crawling in there watching movies. On IMAX, gig. She has to register to vote two times, one for herself and one for her pussy. Her pussy's independent. I'm big in your pussy. No, we don't ask our kids to not date. We, we lay out the <laughs> options. We say, on one hand, you have courtship, free of guilt. And on the other, you have uh, fornicating, like a beast in a field covered in a, a pink dust. Mud. And then we ask them to make their own choice. The right choice. You know, sometimes I just want to put my head on the blanket and the pillow on my body. Me too. Nice to go check on. How long have you been down there? Oh, it was so nice to have Cousin Jamie come over. I was able to tell her about baby number 17. 18. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this little pizza bite is about to pop oh. right out of my toaster oven. <laughs> uh, delivery. <laughs> no one else knows about it, though, besides Bill. And God. Uh, uh, how a baby's made. Well, I mean, take one of these and one of these. The ring goes on the finger. You get married. It's a little hazy after that. Women are like cornucopias, where they're spilling forth fruits and cheeses and babies. And sometimes the babies are holding those cheeses. Baby cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> See so you have imaginary tea time at noon. Why don't we say 12.30? Sure. I like to think of my children as employees at Microsoft. Not everybody gets to hang out with Bill Gates. He's got to be busy making new employees. Or robots. Dad penciled me for November 7th. At the last meeting, we went over my file. I'm diabetic. Have a tappy birthday. Tap water. Little angel, why don't we put some soap in there, stir it around, we'll have a bubble fight. I'll let you win. Not really. You're getting old enough. Why don't you go get some of Daddy's socks and we'll put on a puppet show, but not the dress ones. Snow pea. I'm sure you can find something that looks like a toy or a card. It's tap water. 
Why don't you go find one of Daddy's shirts and wear it like a body sock? Okay? Okay, Prince? Okay, really, we just hugged the baby, so. You know, a lot of people ask me, Bill, hey, why so many bleeping kids? And the answer is that Bill and I have always wanted to form a community of Engvalls to mold with our values so that after we're long gone, we can live forever. Yeah, and then you think 17 kids, 80 years of pop, uh, that's like a thousand years of Engvalls. After we're gone, it's like we're living forever. And we can always look down on them from heaven where we're also living forever. And DVD sales. That helps. I'm pretty sure they're hoping their next baby is born pregnant. It would be nice to take a break. <laughs> All the kids have B names because of Uncle Bill's favorite Bible story. My favorite Bible story is Balaam, because God spoke to Balaam through his ass. And if God can speak to Balaam through an ass, he can use us. And my name is Bill. To meet you. It's great to meet you. We have a ham radio in the basement, which is kind of like internet chatting, but with Russian foreign exchange students. So. <laughs> <laughs>